Hello, Bridgertons. So today we are discussing that delicious Duke played by Reggae Jean Page. Oh my goodness. What is going on with him? Since you're here, click the button and subscribe and also click the bell and the word all for notifications. Okay, there is a lot of controversy that is going on, and it's it's actually ridiculous, and it makes me sad. Just when we don't get our way, some of us like to spread rumors, sensationalize things, make headlines that take things out of context. I don't know about you, but I watched the Variety interview. It was a clip um, with a spokesperson from Variety as Reggae was walking the carpet for his new movie, The Gray Man. And stay with me because I have some news about things that he'll be doing in the future. But anyway, he did not say anything negative about Bridgerton and his role as the Duke. He actually said things that were quite positive. One of the things that we have to remember and understand is, yes, the miniseries is different than the, uh, the books. However, it's not totally different in that the Duke, um, we didn't have to hear about his story or watch his story unfold for many seasons. It was there for us in one entire season. This is why season one was so different from season two. And in the books, after his story is finished, you rarely see him. It's these tiny little one lines and it's almost like, it's not almost, it is a uh, reflective character with uh, Daphne. So when Daphne is there for her family, sometimes he is there and he has like one or two simple lines that really don't even drive the storyline at all in any of the other books. So yes, he could be in them in the in the next um, series, but he's he would be just like a background character that we would see for all of a minute or two. So the man is busy because he is so talented. You have to remember that this um, Bridgerton, the first series, was filmed back in 2019. No sooner did he finish filming the series, he was on to other projects. For example, he was involved in two podcasts, The Harrowing, say that like three times, and The Sandman. And you can still have access to those. And of course, he was he acted in The Gray Man, which is all over social media now, and also Dungeons and Dragons with Chris Pine. That's coming out in 2023. The release date is scheduled for March of 2023. He also has two projects that are coming up. One um, doesn't even have a name yet. He's acting and also an executive producer with uh, Noah Halley. And that's a thriller. It doesn't have a name yet. It's a Netflix thriller. And then he's also taking part in a second project called The Saint or titled The Saint. It's like a, a reboot of The Saint from back in the day. And he's also an actor and executive producer of this project. So the man has been busy, busy, busy. So let's talk about what he actually said. He didn't say that he didn't care about Bridgerton. He also did, he, he did say he didn't have a chance to see season two, but how could he? The man has been working, 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 working. Maybe when he has some time and he could take a deep breath, then he'll watch it. But you also have to understand having a gap of time and taking a deep breath is not always a good thing when you're an actor. He has all these projects that are just coming left and right, not because of Bridgerton or just because of Bridgerton, because some of them were already in the works right after Bridgerton was in pre uh, post-production and we hadn't even seen it yet. He's very talented. He was talented and in um, many things pre-Bridgerton and also post. So he had commitments. And he talked to the executive producers and they knew that his storyline was done. So he said, when you think about it, people are like, oh, we we love um, the Duke and we want him to come back. And he was so wonderful. And he said, that is a testament to the story arc, the redemption of him, because in the beginning, he was not a nice guy. He said he was horrific, his character. And it's true, his character was out there playing the field. He was a rake, um, not just in the Variety um, interview, but also in other interviews, even sitting with his co-stars. He even used the bad word, boy. <laughs> and it's true. That's what a rake is. And then of course he falls in love and he, you know, 
changes his ways. And because we love that so much, we want to see more of him. But there isn't more of a storyline for him. So please give the man a break. He did not say anything negative. He was actually positive about the whole experience. And I know a lot of us want to see more of him. You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to watch him in other um, other things. He's got those projects coming out. All right. I mean, if we're going to spill the tea, we need to really tell the truth. It's gossip that's truthful, not sensationalized. Okay, thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon. Next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to be spilling the tea about, but I hope to see you there. Comment below, watch, and watch the other videos, check them out. I would love to build a community, see what you have to say, and we could talk back and forth. All right, good night.